Hey guys, welcome to Divine Interventions. This video is going to talk about the depths of separation in regards to higher selves, in regards to our higher selves. What's really happening? How is it occurring? What are the things that we need to know about it? And why is this relevant? I made a list here. I have a, a note. I have my own notes <laughs> that I, I put because every awakening that I get these visions and I get, you know, clarity to all these things it's literally like an open book library in my head so i have to make notes so that i don't lose track i don't forget <laughs> first and foremost with what is our higher self so a lot of you may be wondering or a lot of you are probably new and don't know what is our higher self our higher self is our spiritual self that has ascended many times spiritually and has taken all of the things that we have learned and continue to learn okay that is a true definition of what is our higher self okay second question is what is the purpose of our higher self it's to help the 3d body ascend okay and the only way that could happen is while living in this present moment in time it is helping and assisting those of 3d it could also not be those of 3d it could also be spirits it could be you know any 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 spiritual being or soul that has moved on has not moved on in the process of moving on or this physical 3d body okay um, that's the purpose of our higher selves to help this 3d body ascend okay how how is that being done i know a lot of you are probably like how is that being done well for one our higher selves are sharing one energy one energy with us example your higher self is sharing one energy with you my higher self is sharing one energy with me okay if you want the details to that <laughs> email me because <laughs> again i'm not gonna say <laughs> all the details in every one of my videos not gonna happen <laughs> why is that why can't our higher selves just do everything why can't our higher selves just awake and and do what needs to be done like why do they need to connect to this 3d body right why can't they themselves do it because the vibrational energy of our higher selves it's not in the same frequency as our 3d body can take <sighs> it's not the same frequency basically what if i were to explain it to you okay i'm not i'm not gonna look at my notes right now because um, i want to make sure that i'm going you know in order of everything that's why i'm looking at it so if i were to explain to you guys what is the vibrational energy of our higher selves right that's the that's probably one of the questions you guys are asking so the vibrational energy of our higher selves has ascended many lifetimes meaning to say it has accumulated enough to the point where the vibrational energy of it is so high the frequency is so high that's why a lot of higher selves can travel is the only time you can travel you can astral project and etc because of the fact of your higher self there's no other no other reason there's no other hocus pocus or what okay so basically knowing that right your higher selves can travel why because of the fact that the vibrational frequency that of your, our higher selves can accumulate and can take who they are what they are and all things and things alike it helps them go anywhere they want to go it helps them to be in anywhere you know and and do whatever they want to do how does that affect this 3d body is your you might ask how is that affecting us well the dreams that's one <laughs> astral projecting that's two <laughs> um pains in your body when your chakras are opening why is it important for your chakras to open is so that our higher selves can connect with us because they are in full ascension again all higher selves are ascending masters each and every one okay the only thing is that they have a certain ascension and i would say if, if i would put it in like a diagram right one to ten okay let's say one to ten if you're a twin flame and only only a twin flame there is a certain level of max ascension there's a certain level of it 
let's say one to ten is general general for every spiritual being if you are specifically a twin flame you are up to a six that's the max okay now not every twin flame can ascend to a six not every twin flame has ascended to a six not every twin flame can even ascend to a two is because union needs to happen many of you will ask well why hasn't union happening again all these questions right it depends with with your situation so you have to email me no other choice now i uh, see i get sidetracked <laughs> I get sidetracked this way i have notes here so that i don't get sidetracked <laughs> the vibrational energy of our higher selves is not the same frequency of this 3d body okay how to get that how to be able to connect with our higher selves without having to go through the pain without having to go through the ascension process and all this that and especially the pain because a lot of physical pain literally a lot um how to prevent that or how to go about it how to survive it those questions are very detailed and i it depends with your situation so you have to email me okay again all the questions i already know what you guys want to know while i'm talking about it you have to you just have to email me because i'm not gonna upload a video of it i'm not gonna upload a video of it i will start to upload videos of explaining all the the answers to those questions and i'm just gonna give you a link if you want to know you know all those questions in your mind uh, about this then i'm just gonna make a video and i'm just gonna give you a link you, ha you have to email me though to ask me for it because i need to make sure that you are who you are okay no exception to that what is happening when our higher selves connect to our 3d for example right because it varies every spiritual being is different so let's say example you're a twin flame okay spiritual union is a must in order for our higher selves to be able to fully fully connect with this body because there's a vibrational frequency that is shared between twin flames once union happens that vibrational energy is expanding okay it's literally expanding so once let's say example me and my twin this is me this is my twin we're in union the the flame that we carry the flame that i carry the flame that she carries there is an energy in that flame once union happen it's like think of it as a spherical ball that the electricity is going like this it's going like that okay inside that spherical ball clear ball because union has happened we as twins are that little ball that has all these electricity okay just you know it's a mix that's why when union happens it's very difficult to balance each other it's very difficult to balance divine feminine and divine masculine energy i know it's very deep what i'm saying because and it's making sense right because every time i'm saying something you guys are getting a vision of it you you see a picture of it yeah so that is what's needed in order for our higher selves to connect fully with this 3d body you may ask how okay i'm gonna answer the question how in this video how because picture this me okay divine feminine my divine masculine okay we combine keep note before union even happens i have my own energy my twin has her own energy it's just when we meet it is awakening that energy. So it's maintaining that pulse, right? I was explaining the pulse. Once you are in union, you are constantly like this. The energy is like this. And how it vibrationally goes in and bounces back out it has to be consistent okay 
there are times that what happens is when twin flames, the vibration is like this. It's not getting, it's not, it's not, you see, it's not sync. It's like over here. Okay. So that's the running, the chasing. That's what happens because it's not, it's not sinking. So that's how, <laughs> okay. How <laughs> I'm answering the question. How, when our higher selves connect with us, why is it so important that it needs to be, it needs to be when union has already happened. Because we're in that spherical ball. Because of the fact that our energies are combined and it's in union, it's not difficult to balance the energies because we are secluded in that spherical ball. Okay, you guys getting me? <laughs> Because we're in that spherical ball, that energy that I carry as a divine feminine, and I'm going through ascension, right? My divine masculine is now taking that energy that I'm getting because I'm going through ascension. And because of the fact that she's truly my twin, every time that I'm going through ascension, it is mirrored to her at that exact moment and time. So what effect what effect does that do to your twin when you are in union? What happens is she's getting the energy while I'm ascending. And then now she's being forced slowly to ascend with me. Keep note, we are in this spherical ball. And it's all just electricity. Okay? Okay? I'm not going to share more than that. <laughs> if you guys want to know the details of that, you have to email me. Again, I'm not going <laughs> to... No, 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 no. YouTube has manipulated Twin Flames for far too long. I'm not going to be part of that. I'm not going to be part of it for the sake of money. I'm not going to be part of it for the sake of popularity. I can care less what you think. And I've already posted a video of really who I truly am as a divine feminine. So I'm not going to repeat everything again. I'm not going to explain myself to anybody. Whether you like it or not, I'm not going to share everything in every video. If you have a question and I did not answer it in this video, I promise you, I will answer your question. If you truly are who you are, you have to email me. So this is part one. <laughs> and then I'm going to explain part two after this one.